Freestyle Terrain contains parks, pipes, and all the features including jumps, banks, ramps, fun boxes, jibs, rails, half pipes, quarter pipes, and other features. The orange oval is a symbol used by resorts to represent freestyle terrain. It is posted at the top of the terrain park or half pipe and in trail maps. The symbol is usually found with safety information about terrain park use, including smart style. You want to really just make a plan when you're coming out. Think about what you want to do and, and kind of start your day out right. When you're on the chairlift, just check it out. You can totally tell what's going on. When you have a plan, it just gives you that much more confidence to go up and try new tricks. and. It makes you feel a lot better rolling into the jump knowing that you know what you're doing because if you second guess yourself, that's when things start to go wrong and you have problems. Second step, look before you leap. Whenever I go to a new park, whether it be I haven't been there for a few days or a few weeks, I always do a lap just riding through and checking out all the jumps. Yo, what if someone's in backless? We should probably just check the jump out on the side. Yeah, it's probably not a good place to stand. Yeah. All right, let's go. You want to be able to check things out and uh, but be in a safe spot you know you don't want to be underneath a jump or anything like that so but this is a good opportunity for me to look around and see what kind of obstacles I want to hit or what I don't want to hit what kind of rail is that is that down rail or down flat down I don't know I can't tell from here hey guys it's not that sticky and it's just a down bar the speed's really fast coming in so take a few checks one other thing you want to check out is um, just like how fast the snow is. Like you can hear that it's like ice right now. It's kind of earlier in the morning. Um, you're gonna have a lot more speed. Um, and then in the afternoon, um, when things get really soft and slushy, you're gonna be going slower. So you need to kind of adjust your speed a little bit. The next part is easy style it. So warm up. One thing I like to do is just work your way up. Start small and work your way up. I definitely started out with miniature jumps, miniature rails, you know. It's always way better to start somewhat in your comfort level. If you have too much speed, there are many things that can go wrong. You can blast into the front of the box, or you can shoot over the top like you just saw me do there. I have way too much speed going in and went way over the backside. Wasn't good. Right now, it's really critical for every rider, every skier in a terrain park to kind of figure out how to take care of themselves. A part of being a snowboarder is being aware and being familiar with your environment, and that's how you're gonna, you're gonna kill it. Most terrain parks say that inverted maneuvers aren't recommended. You still wanna take your time to get there, so like work, work your way up to it. You know, start with a straight air on things, feel it out, get a good feel for the pop, and then work your way into your, into your 180s and your 3s, and then take it beyond that. Take your time so you can have a full day and a full season of riding injury free. The fourth step, the final step, is respect gets respect. Everybody's out here just to have a good time, and there's no reason to get aggro over, over anybody. If someone cuts you off, you know, just let it go and keep moving on, just have some fun. But, uh, Respect people who are in front of you because they have the right of way. You're standing up at the top of a jump and some random person just kind of cruises by at a fast rate of speed and just cuts the guy off that was about to drop in. Whoa, Whoa. did you see that guy? You don't want to do that, so you want to call your drop in. Drop in! You can't just kind of go in there like a loose cannon. It's definitely good to have respect for the other people waiting in line and just, you know, just respect the snow. And, just kind of the, everything that's in there. Just be courteous to other people and uh, respect others and you'll have a blast. Respect gets respect. Each feature can be broken into four zones. Approach, takeoff, maneuver, landing. Right now we've kind of put into place this whole system for kind of checking out features and kind of understanding the different parts of a feature and we call it the ATML model and it's really simple. The A is the approach zone. What you want to make sure is to have equal weight on both feet as you approach. If you feel like you're going too fast, you need to speed check a little. Taking more setup turns into a jump than speed checks, you know, it's good to remember how many setup turns you do into the jump before you hit it. Be bending your knees, preparing yourself to go off the lip, thinking about what trick you're going to do. Second zone is the takeoff zone. 
Most people don't just ride off the feature, they actually make a move to manage that feature well. Just stay center on your board so you don't fall in the back seat. The key to make a trick happen is at the takeoff. That's where you pop into the maneuver zone. The maneuver zone is all about the trick you're throwing down or just the way you're floating through the air. You're in the air, you're looking for your landing, you're doing your trick that you want to, and you're actually being calm about it, not just trying to hook something off and see if you land it. And then you got the landing zone. When you're coming down to the ground, you see your landing, just make sure you put your board forward. Being able to put your board down underneath your feet safely. So you land and then you bend your knees. And just absorb, use your core. And then you ride away.